I don't know, let's continue this Stranger Things binge. Guys, we're now on episode three. There's only eight episodes this season, so. I always like that about Stranger Things, like this 50 minutes, 40 minutes, 50 minutes, and there's only like eight or 10 episodes a season. It just makes it so much easier to watch than having like 20, 20, ep 20 odd episodes a season. Um, first impressions so far, it's a good start. I like it. I think, I like the group of characters we've all got already. We've established them dead quick. Um, I can't wait to see more crossover of the groups interacting with each other and then just obviously people, more people le just learning what's going on in the background. As we're still staying on the happier side of stuff at the moment, but as we can tell, it's getting darker and darker in the background as we left off with both the end of last episode. I'm curious if um, the girl has been now transformed into like a slave or she, was she actually eaten? But yeah, Billy's got his little character to go for. I wonder if he's going to get out of this alive or he's probably going to die afterwards. But hey, the only way to find out is to keep watching. And the best thing about it is you don't even have to wait. You can just jump into it. Let's jump into this. So, let's get into this. Make sure you like and subscribe, guys. I always massively appreciate it. It helps immensely. I'm trying to get a subscriber goal of 3,500 by the end of the year and 5,000 as a stretch goal. So, every subscriber helps. And also, get your SJ recommendations in, guys, as after I finish Stranger Things, Umbrella Academy's only got one more episode left. So, I need two new live action shows to watch and I will take suggestions in and do a poll towards the end of after I finish this season. So he's definitely paid off having Max's character introduced. Hey, Karate Kid! Oh yeah, we'll be the same time. My boy. Cobra Kai is an amazing series. Watch it, by the way. That's a bit of an evasion of privacy. Mike, Mike would never cheat. It's a totally different species. They say we are species. What? Emotion, not logic. The way what? she puts it across is so weird. It's ready. We'll not break. <laughs> ah, boys, we be boys. What would happen? I was going to think it's Mike, innit? Hey. Oh, he's drunk. Hey. Hopper. What's that? Right, drunk, calm down. Okay. Let's get worried there. Like, fuck hell, yeah. Hopper. Calm yeah. down. Yeah. I guess she's happy. She's hanging out with actual with people who might know. Okay, look, I should just warn you if he's with a girl. Holy oh, shit. Right away your for life. Matt? No, I'm just saying, I'm serious. He's really gross. Matt. Okay. Shutting up now. That's not good. Uh, Billy, he's going through a, mo a little emotional moment right now. Yes. Oh. He really Billy, wants to play Billy, Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> I love his passion for wanting to get what? into play. My full name. Only new day. A day free of hey, <laughs> I love Will. He's got such character. <laughs> That's going to mean nothing to him. I love watching Joyce figure stuff out in the show. She's really good at it, though. To be fair. Okay, you're freaking. Oh yeah. Is he single too? Ah, oh, fucking hell, Hopper. Listen. What if it's that? Makes sense. I think she deserves your trust after. I know it would sound crazy, but she's been right multiple times now. So. It'd be too much, wouldn't it, Joyce? Wouldn't it, Joyce? Joyce is gone, mate. I love how she just goes off and does her own thing. <laughs> Mate, I just want this guy fucking to get slapped by her. I know how it sounds, but you've got proof. Oh, fuck's sake. Oh, you knew the banner was coming. <sighs> And he's through like the world. <laughs> Steven and his girl are the worst employees, but also the best. <laughs> he needs to wear a more inconspicuous outfit. I guess I don't totally know the girls anyway. You have the perfect one right in front of you. Seriously, if you say Robin again. Robin, Robin, Robin. Date Robin. I'm on distant side here, mate. Robin, 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 Robin. Come on. Why not? She's awesome. I love how he's still stuck in like this school place though. It's gonna be a good development character learning for him. 
Like you talk about that, like, oh, why is she being around that loser? But it's just like, at the end of when you grow up, it's not such a big deal. Why are they being such boring bastards? Why are these guys being like it's me? <laughs> They're growing up. No, you're being dicks, guys. No offense. How much longer is the camp? Just forget it, Mike. No, you want to keep playing, right? Yeah, totally. We'll just call the girls afterwards. I said forget it, Mike, okay? I don't blame Will. He's been trying, like, for quite a while now, and there's just been dicks about it. Yeah, I think Dustin sort of moved on. Yeah. What the fuck, mate? Mate, Mike's been such a dick this season. Hmm. Poor Will. Look, there's nothing wrong with having girlfriends, but pushing away your friends is never a good thing, even when you're older. Because at the end of the day, your friends are still going to be there for you, whereas your girlfriend might not be. Yeah, she's been infected as well, then. Mate. <laughs> Sam Plash is dead. What happened? <sighs> I'm going to say that every time I see Bob. At least they use, one thing at least they're doing with this with his death, they're using it, which is nice. I'm glad that they they're using his death more than they were shocked by it. They're keeping it in the story and affecting Joyce quite a lot instead of just forgetting about it. It was never going to be that easy. Let's be honest, guys. She even working? I love how she's actually putting in the work and the other two are just fucking about. <laughs> Mate, she's the legend. Robin's the best girl. Good job, Robin. A bit convenient, but good job. You're relentless, you know that? Hmm. That's Nancy's character for you. So this is the girl who went straight under a tree into upside down without knowing a thing about it just to save Bob's. It's important to me that you feel safe. Mate, I guess that would deteriorate your health if you've seen it's not something you can just get over. Maybe I do forget that sometimes. This can still be your home. No, I'm sorry, man, alright? I was being a total asshole. Please, can you just come outside and we'll talk? Thank you, you admitted to it. I will. Oh, Jesus, we're so screwed if it's the Democrats. God, look how fucking young they are. Look at now. I like how this is like a grown up story at the same time as being a mystery. Like coming of age story. Calm down, Will. You can't get those memories back. New. No. Mate, it's pretty sad. See, this one's going to be hard to beat because you can't just shut down a gate and you will get cut off. Oh, 
Oh, it's gone inside her. Yes, shit moment. <laughs> Even in this dangerous situation. Come on, Stephen Robin. See, so yeah, I love the angle she came in because she's coming through the Russian angle, so they don't have to explain demigorgons and demons to her, which I'm unbelievable. It's coming in like this a secret organization. Just starts off as a fun joke and now she turns into something serious. It's pretty cool. So we're not rehashing the same as always, Max. Ouch. Mate, these kids are going to have serious colds after this. Ooh, remembers her. He's back. He's back. Yeah, boy. <laughs> I knew he was going to say it. <laughs> He's married, compadre. Shit. He's going for the full family, isn't he? Well, looks like Nancy don't have to worry about her job anymore. I'm really sorry about this guy. Mate, they get the full sleep sleep slave army, aren't they? How are they gonna free them all though? Mate, this threat's dangerous compared to the others. Like the others were dangerous, but this one's like because it's connected to characters and stuff, it's even more dangerous. Like fuck. I like it though, I like the fact that it's going more down a dangerous route like that. Yeah, I like the fact the um Oh wait, this is so much more threatening. I love Robin by the way. <laughs> she's my favourite character. No, she's not. Um her learning stuff is uh can come across convenient, but I did enjoy it. I really enjoy this side of the story at the moment. And I love the growing up story that we have like the coming to age story we have going with all the kids as well, because as we are they're no longer kids anymore. Even though Will and Lucas would as I say they were in the wrong in that situation. I'm glad Mike came to Mike realised he was in the wrong and he went to apologise straight away. And I like how the threat's amping up now, like um he's back and they're not he's not messing about, like the sh the sh he's not messing about. Otherwise, yeah. No, it's just yeah, I love this whole I love this whole the whole villain aspect of this in this show. Like I like how um we've got to know the demon through season two and sort of like the virus and now we're seeing like the full fledge of it. So it's given that big connection to season two, which I'm liking, so it doesn't just feel like it's a season like here. I know Eddie you know sometimes when you watch a show it's just like why has it got another season? I feel like this has managed to connect it enough to season two to make it worthy. And I'm loving it. I can't wait to see more of it guys. I hope to see you in the next reaction. Peace.